star synchronization in the sheep and goats. So synchronizing the stress female is a, not a big deal nowadays because of introduction of hormones and other things. So mechanism of control the stress is by two way, either you stimulate the corpus luteum or you utilize the corpus luteum. Then current approaches is uh, accordance with the pharmacological methods in which the, we use the hormones like the prostaglandins, progestins based uh, devices like the progestin span, reads and CLDR. Then combination of the GNRH with the prostaglandin and also with the progestin devices. Then natural way is that exposure of the male, sudden exposure of the male after the long interval will also increase in the stress. Then environmental manipulation like the photoperiodism of the light, uh, photoperiodism effect of the light and other things may be uh, introduced for the stress, stress induction. Then comes to the progestin based synchronization of the stress, which is categorized in the oral treatment injections and intravaginal sponges. Most commonly used the intravaginal sponges. The sponges, it is very cheaper also, and also it is very easy to handle that. In the oral treatment, the medoxyprogestrol acetate, melodogestrol acetate, and other things are used at the dose rate of 0.25 mg or 0.3 mg per kg body weight for the 18 days. But nowadays, it is not used in the most of the farm, and injection is also not used in most of the farm. Then intravaginal sponges, which are imprinted with the progestin. This is the project made by the Avika Nagar, which is called the Aviki seal. It has 350 mg natural project and two types of sponges are there, which is FGA based or MAP based. Project sponge or CRDR is inserted for the two, two way, like the short term insertion and the long term insertion. In the short term insertion, we can use the, uh, we can insert the sponges and other. Uh, CIDR based devices for the seven to nine days and the long term it is used for the 14 up to the 14 days. And if you have introduced the cement uh, stimulating hormone also like the FSH or ECG or uh, at the rate of 300 to 500 international unit prior to the withdrawal of the Spanish uh, sponges, then it is very uh, much a promising result. result. Then exhibition of the stress within 24 to 48 hours after the sponge withdrawal has comes. In my PhD work, it comes up to the 72 to 96 hours after the withdrawal of the sponge. But it was a very short study in the, I think 24 goats was there. But if, in the, if you have a, taken in the large herd, then most of the female come in the stress within 48 hours after the withdrawal of the sponge. Then use of GNRH after the 54 hours uh, after progesterone withdrawal, which help in the evolution also and simultaneously you uh, with the artificial insemination or natural AI, natural uh, insemination. This is the some photographs you are going to see that insertion of the progesterone uh, sponges, hypocene. Uh, this is the sponge inserted in the plunger. They said the inserted into the vagina of the female, and then you insert with the and push with the this rod, and you just uh, check for the proper insertion by tying by pulling the, that thread, and cut this thread by here only. That uh, because uh, some other goats has not chew it. Then subcutaneous implants are also there, progesterone based devices like that to enlarge to mate, ear implants, and other things are also there. And intravaginal control internal device like CIDR, it is more popular in the case of uh, cattle and buffalo. But T safe insert made with the medical silicon estromers imprinted with progesterone is also available for the sheep and goats. Then comes to the prostaglandin. It is also a hormone, prostaglandin F2. Uh, uh, two series, which terminates the luteal phase of the CL. That is the luteolosis of the CL or regression of the CL occurs by using this hormone. Then natural and prostaglandin analogs like the clopostinol is also available. Nowadays, most of the people using the prostaglandin analog like clopostinol. 
and better synchrony could be achieved by giving two injection of the uh, project, uh, PGF two alpha y eleven the interval, and uh, that will induce the stress, stress within twenty four hour or forty eight hours. These are the summary of the some uh, hormones and active ingredient and growth rate and route of administration like the glucolytes as the active ingredient dinoprost growth rate is seven point five mg and double injection is given. Clopostal is the synthetic analog of PGO2 alpha. We can use up to one ml, like 250 microgram. And most of people now are using 0.5 ml. It's uh, saying that it is sufficient, like the 150 microgram. And Krista ear implant, which have the active ingredient nargistomate, in which the 3 mg ear implant, along with the 1.5 mg nargistomate intramuscular, and then 2.5 mg steroidal valet. It is a, it is a little bit uh, hectic, and then natural progesterone like 350 mg for 12 to 14 hour, 14 days. It is also in our avica seal progesterone, in Indian made avica seal. Then CIDR, it is also contain the progesterone, and synchromate B, and so many things. Take a look at uh, the. Uh, Percentage of stress induction rate and consumption rate in the progesterone based device and other uh, hormonal combinations like the progesterone intravaginal sponge has the induction, stress induction rate 80 to 85 percent and consumption rate 60 to 75 percent. Then GNRH based uh, with combination of PGF to alpha have also the consumption rate of 80 percent. So these are the advantages of the hormonal treatment. When particularly in the non breeding season, or we can show that, uh, say that uh, low breeding season, uh, we can use the progesterone based devices, RPG up to alpha hormonal uh, insertion. Then some hormone also, also I tried, like the melatonin, but is not effective, uh, so much not effective. And uh, recently we have tried the effect of dietary fish oil on the stress induction rate. Is that, very promising result on the 66.7% in the stress induction rate, that of randomitis. And uh, we have got a, a little bit low consumption rate, but that data was in the non breeding season, particularly in the low temperature of about, about 5 degrees or 6 degrees, or 10, at maximum 10 degrees, uh, 20 degrees. So some of the protocols are also given by the, like the crystal implant insert in zero day and uh, remove on the ninth day. Meanwhile, you have give the PMSG like RECG on the eighth day. Then fixed time AI, detect the stress and fixed time AI in within the 42 to 74, 72 hours. Okay. Then this is the CIDR, CIDR the vaginal sponge for the 14 days. And then you give the artificial insemination of fixed time. This is also one protocol, like CIDR based, then you give the uh, analog of PGF to alpha and the five, and then artificially inseminate it. Then also part two PG injection, like zero and 11 day. And then after that, you detect the heat and go for the artificial insemination or natural mating. Then also natural synchronization is also is there, like that causes the male effect. Then the sudden association of male after the long period of the separation is ensured daily for the short period. This is called the telescoping. Then most of the animals comes into the heat uh, um, by giving this uh, uh, male effect for seven to eight days. 